हेलो एवरी वन माई सर सो मै तिवारी वेलकमिंग यू ऑल इन माई अनदर वीडियो सेक्शन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट एंटीरियर कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ फोर आम मसल सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एंटीरियर कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ अपर आम मसल सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच डियर आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स और यू कैन वॉच इट फ्रॉम देअ सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट टूडेज टॉपिक फोर आम ग्रुप ऑफ मसल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एंटीरियर कंपार्टमेंट सो इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री पार्ट्स सुपरफिशियल कंपार्टमेंट इंटरमीडिएट कंपार्टमेंट एंड डीप कंपार्टमेंट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वन बाय वन सो लेट्स बिगिन विथ सुपरफिशियल कंपार्टमेंट ग्रुप ऑफ मसल्स इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर मसल्स फ्लेक्चर कार्पाई अलैरिस पामरिस लॉन्गस फ्लेक्शर कार्पाई रेटियालिस एंड प्रोनेटर टेरिस सो आई हैव हाईलाइटेड सम सुपरफिशियल ग्रुप ऑफ मसल यू कैन सी प्रोनेटर टेरिस विच इज हाईलाइटेड बाई ग्रीन कलर देन वी हैव फ्लेक्सर कार्पाई रेडियालिस यू कैन सी इन द पिंक कलर देन वी हैव पामरेस लॉन्गस दिस इज दिस येलो लाइन शोज पामरेस लॉन्गस then we have flexor carpi ulnaris which you can see uh, in the highlighted green color so starting with pronator teres it originates from medial epicondyle and coronoid process and it inserts into the mid shaft of the radius and its action is as the name suggests it helps in pronation of forearm and it is supplied by median nerve now second muscle is flexor carpi radialis it also originates from medial epicondyle and it inserts into the second and third metacarpal its action is flexion and abduction at the wrist and is supplied by median nerve so moving on to our third muscle that is pamres longus this muscle is absent in about 15% of the population and it originates from medial epicondyle it inserts into the flexor retinaculum of the wrist and its action is flexion at wrist it is also supplied by median nerve so moving to our next muscle that is flexor carpi ulnaris it originates from medial epicondyle and it inserts into pisiform hamate and fifth metacarpal base its action is flexion and adduction at the wrist joint and it is supplied by ulnar nerve so superficial compartment they all originates from a common tendon which arises from the medial epicondyle of the humerus so just have a look here and you will get to know about it clearly so next is intermediate compartment it only consists of one muscle that is flexor digitorum superficialis so fds is two headed muscle one originates from medial epicondyle and other originates from radius this muscle splits into four tendon and which passes through the carpal tunnel and it inserts into the middle phalanges of the four finger its action is it flexes the metacarpophalangeal joint and proximal interphalangeal joint at the four finger and flexes the wrist and supplied by median nerve so next is deep compartment group of muscle and it consists of three muscles flexor digitorum profundus flexor pollicis longus and pronator quadratus so just have a look here where these muscles are locating then we'll be doing origin insertion action and its nerve supply so flexor digitorum profundus it originates from the ulna and intraosseous membrane it splits into four tendon 
which passes through the carpal tunnel and it inserts into the distal phalanges of the forefinger. So its action is flexion of DIP joint and also flexes MCP joint. It innervates by medial half is innervated by ulnar nerve and lateral half is innervated by median nerve. So second muscle is flexure policies longus. It lies lateral to FTP that is flexure digitorum profundus. FPL originates from radius and interosseous membrane and it inserts into the distal phalanx of thumb. And its action is flexion of IP and DIP joint of thumb and is supplied by median nerve. So next muscle is pronator quadratus. It is square shaped muscle and found deep to the tendon of FPL and FTP. And it originates from anterior surface of ulna and inserts into the anterior surface of radius. Its action is pronates the forearm and is supplied by median nerve. I hope this video will be useful for you all. And if you are new here, please subscribe my channel. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back.